What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the iPhone 13 Pro and today we're back with the case from UAG. This is going to be the Civilian Series, this time in the MagSafe Edition. I'll throw up the link in the video description. I think it's about 60 bucks, 59 bucks, very expensive case. Big boy protection though. And this time, obviously, we got the MagSafe. They just released a MagSafe lineup for a lot of these cases, a lot of their classic cases. So these are definitely going to be different. Probably worth it. I'm a big fan of the, the MagSafe phone cases right now. Like really hard for me to get one without it just because I use it so much with the wallets and all just accessories as well. So let's go and check it out. I think I got the green. You can see how it's going to look. Presentation looks good. Now, the one thing you notice right out of the gate 20 foot drop protection. That's a big boy, big boy drop protection. So keep that in mind. We're looking for a case. That's a, I mean, at least they're saying 20 foot drop protection. That's huge. So we'll take it out though. See if it's a hit or miss. I would say for your brand new, depending on when you got this phone. It's been out for a while now. We're getting close to that almost a year point. But a lot of people are just getting these still. So presentation looks good. The case itself, I like it. You can see you got that green Urban Armor Gear UAG. And then you can see this like kind of a two-tone look to it or transitions from kind of a hard shell plastic to kind of a rubbery feel around the bumper. And they got like a black color as well. I do like that. Interior, very nice. You can see just the extra little details with these ridges on the interior uh, and then the actual MagSafe right there. One thing I'm not a huge fan of, and I said this about this case plenty of times before, I like what they do with this case, but there's no reason for me to have the orange front to me that kind of just takes away when i'm looking at the phone itself i like to have a one neutral color that that brightness to me kind of just affects the overall when i'm looking at the phone just not a big fan of that i think that's one thing they could just do without there's really no need for it it may not bother you guys but to me that's one of those things it's like i just like the phone like when you're looking at this look at that it just kind of looks neutral that black on black versus or black on blue where you just got that bright color. I don't really want a bright phone case. And if I did, I probably wouldn't get it. But this one overall you know, green and then they got that popping orange. But then I do like the actual hold of this one. It's got a nice grip to it. Feels nice in the hands. Should be a big boy case for your big boy 13 Pro. Speaking of Pro, let's take that graphite out and wipe it down, wipe it down. Still looking clean and beautiful from day one clean it up for the camera look at that thing beautiful still that's why we rock that's why we rock a case and we don't rock it raw dog because it's looking beautiful after nine months of use so we'll slap it in like that all right so my first impression i like this case a lot you can see that green it's not for everybody i'm not a huge green fan but to me that green against the graphite looks good and that's why you to me you go with the graphite color because it just goes so many, it just goes with every case, every single case it's gonna go with, it's gonna be a nice neutral color. So this one is gonna complement it very, very nicely. It's gonna add some bulk to it. You know, it's, it's a heavy phone, so it's gonna add some bulk to it. Camera protection looks good. You can see all over the camera protection right there. Let's go and check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lip. Lip. lip protection looks good. You got full edge edge protection. And see what I'm talking about, the orange, it's just not needed. See, it's kind of like, to me, it just takes away from a good case. It's kind of an eyesore at my point. What do you guys think about that? Is it does this drive me nuts? Is it maybe the OCD on my end? Or do you guys like that? Anyways, let me know what your thoughts in the comment section on that one. Volume up and down, clicking and responsive. You can see plus and minus. Speakers look precise and clean. Power look good. And then your power button right there. Very nice. Let's go and check out the MagSafe edition. See how it works. Slap it on a place like that. Boom. Perfect. All right. So overall, definitely like this case. Anybody that's been a big fan of this series case with the MagSafe, it's definitely a no-brainer. Uh, I mean, big boy protection, it's going to add some bulk. But to me, it's not the crazy. For 20-foot drop protection, it's not exactly a heavy, heavy-duty case. It doesn't feel that way, at least to me. And that's what I like. You actually feel like you're getting slimmer protection without actually giving you like an OtterBox Defender look to it. So overall, I do like this case. It's expensive, but I would recommend it for anybody looking for some heavyweight protection. I'm going to call it a hit. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hit or miss, we'll go hit. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.